Welcome, my name is Gabor Tot. I'm from Austria, I'm an interventional cardiologist, and we are here to discuss the highlights of PCR 2015 in the field of interventional treatment of hypertension. Warm welcome to Atul Pataf from France and Felix Mafu from Germany. A couple of years ago, there was a huge enthusiasm about the interventional treatment of hypertension, and afterwards there was some decline. So what do you think? Where are we now? What have you seen in the PCR? Yeah, I agree that there was a uh, huge uh, changes and uh, new uh, episodes in the field. But basically, what you have to keep in mind is I think uh, the field is uh, back. And what we have learned uh, during this meeting is that there have been uh, a number of studies showing that uh, there is a need to reassess uh, the therapy, uh, interventional treatment in the field of, of, of hypertension. I think uh, uh, one first very important study is the the French uh, Diener HTN study, which has been published recently in The Lancet, uh, which is a study where basically uh, uh, renal denervation was superior to optimized antihypertensive treatment. And the study was conducted in a very nice way, and the results are clinically significant. Uh, there was also a lot of discussion about a study called the Prague study, uh, again, which showed that uh, renal denervation in this uh, open label prospective randomized trial was able to reduce blood pressure as good as an optimized antihypertensive treatment, but without the side effects. So I think uh, uh, after Simplicity 3, new studies which are positive were giving a very strong signal and uh, the need to reassess the therapy for the future. Felix, what are the main memorables of EuroPCR 2015 for you? That's a good question. Uh, we had a very interesting session talking about the procedure itself, the ultimate target of renal denervation, the sympathetic nervous system located around the renal arteries actually. We learned that the anatomy is different than we initially thought. The nerves are traveling around the artery. They are coming closer whenever you go distal. So there is potentially a good uh, treatment segment actually to induce treatment effects. We can potentially reduce treatment variability. And we discussed that during a session here at Europe PCR, also new treatment strategies, optimized treatment strategies. And we know that we have to reconcile the evidence in terms that we have to conduct future studies. And uh, we had an interesting session where we updated the community on what is ongoing now in renal denervation in terms of future studies that will be released soon or included the first patients. And that were very uh, memorable moments for me here at EuroPCR. And when we look at the future, what is your prognosis? Where is this uh, therapeutic field approaching to? So I do think that the pathophysiology is there. We have a lot of uh, interesting concepts, actually, and we have, as Atul mentioned, data that supports the concept, although uh, with mixed results. And we do need clear proof of concept studies in the next steps, which show that renal denervation lowers blood pressure in hypertensive patients. Off medication, that is a hot topic here. So um, a couple of new studies will investigate whether or not renal denervation is lowering in patients who are off medication, not taking antihypertensive drug, a pure patient population. But long term, of course, the question is whether renal denervation lowers blood pressure in patients on medication. And there are studies where both uh, subgroups will be investigated. And I think that is needed urgently now for the field and for the community to reconcile the evidence around renal denervation. Atul, what is your point of view on the future? Well, I think uh, that uh, renal denervation is part of a uh, huge change which is going on in the field, uh, interventional neuromodulation in hypertension. So I think that uh, it's really time now to uh, understand further the action of these devices, uh, maybe reassess how the, the, these devices can be used in the field and also expand beyond hypertension the need of uh, these uh, interventional therapy, maybe in heart failure, maybe in more complicated patients or less complicated patients. So we're getting more and more approaches and that that's just to add to what Atul said. We're getting approaches, uh, mechanical approaches to treat hypertension, the creation, intervention, and creation of an AV fistula. We do have uh, stimulators of the baroreceptor, vagal nerve stimulators, so the armentarium of uh, potential treatment options to treat hypertension, heart failure, atrial fibrillation is there, and there's a huge need for future clinical research to investigate how these tools can be used um, in selected patients. So we have more and more targets. The future looks bright. Thanks for sharing your opinion. Thank, Thank you. you.